Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today I'm going to go over the best ways to build a no money spent team. Now, if you guys play Madden, have played Madden, watch Madden, no money spent is one of the newest, most prominent terms that you're going to hear in the Madden community, and honestly, it's gotten to a point where you may even hear it more than any other word in Madden, even over packs and other words now. There's two sides to the sword, right? So there's no money spent, it's like, oh, you know, you're saving money, you just, pretty much it's just called grinding the game, but people call it no money spent. What's sad, though, is that this game has become so money-hungry and so focused around currency that they had to create a new form of playing the game called No Money Spent instead of just what it used to be called, right? You played Madden, you grinded. Some people broke out the wall, some didn't. But we're at a point like that. Now, this isn't for content creators, of course. Like I always say, guys, content creators are different. They spend money to make money. They spend money to make content. I'm talking about the average players. This is where No Money Spent really plays to, like, the people who are like, you know, I hop on this every day after work for an hour. I'm not going to go ahead and waste what I made today on my game. Perfectly fine. I'm not content creators. That may be their job. So for them, doing so is it's entirely different. So what I say here doesn't apply to content creators. This applies to the regular player who, me, myself, as a regular player prior to YouTube, I really didn't spend much money on Madden because, again, there's no return on investment, right? But, again, it really just depends on who you are. But if you're a no money spent guy or, or you just got the game for Christmas looking to build one, I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice. Before we get into the video, come to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, heading over to Mutt Reserve if you guys do need coins. Of course, this is a no money spent video, so I imagine you guys don't. But if you do, and don't don't waste it on packs, if you do want coins, at least it the efficient way, go over to Mutt Reserve. Code Poodle is still 30% off. But yeah, about it, let's get into the video. So first things first, guys, if you just got the game for I'm going to assume you just got the game. And if you're regular no money spent, guys, the tips will apply. So we're going to start off with the, we're going to start off with the quickest ways to just get a no money spent team going right now. So honestly, the first thing you guys want to do, you want to scour through the game and find the easiest ways to start filling out your team. Because if you just got the game, right? If you just got the game, or in general, you have a no money spent team, more than likely you have a lot of spots to fill and not a lot of coins to get, right? So the first thing you want to do is scour through the solos. Go through each one and go to each one like this. Let's say go all the way up to any of the ones you want to go. Let's say how the garage one won't miss. Go to milestones. You want to go to each one's milestone and see the potential rewards and pretty much plan out an efficient route. So, like, let's say, so you're like, okay, so if I, if I want to play uh, how the garage will mump miss, you go to milestones and then you go down and you can clearly see here, like, okay, I'm going to get some snow. I'm going to get some chill factors. Those chill factors get me some free players. That might be worth it. You're going to say, okay, so how much is that snow worth? Christmas problem was ending soon. I might have to get this done as quickly as possible. Then you're going to go to maybe. You know the weekly 50 solos or the rival solos and say okay so there's some free players in the rival solos but they're only 85 overalls so maybe that's a waste of time for myself at this point in the year at this point right but then again maybe it's not those players can help you win solos but again you want to pretty much go for what's going to help you now so i would recommend right now guys what solos you want to get done is the how how the uh, garage will mump miss honestly if you go through all the 50 solos you can start getting some you get some free players some stuff to sell some stuff to keep uh free 50 player at the end i highly recommend you go through the 50 solos you go to the other garage for moments. If you want some coins, you can go to the team of the weeks and just sell them that the team of the week now player you get every week, like the base one. Team Affinity. Um, NFL Epics again, same thing. It's gonna be one of those situations where you're just getting 85 overall, so it may not be worth it. Of course, play your level up challenge, because again, one of the biggest ways to make coins, guys, is the level up grind. So remember that as well. You want to be leveling up as fast as possible. So here's what I would recommend. If you're a no money spent team, first thing is get your levels up, right? That's that's probably that's probably number one tip on the whole list now. I'm not no money spent, so for me, it's not exactly the same exact thing. Like I said, for people who don't spend money, you check the game. Hit maximal level. Once you get to maximal level, you can then start worrying about everything else. Personally, I wouldn't even start building your team once you're maximal level because you get a lot of free players along the way. You get a lot of free coins, a lot of packs. Obviously, you're probably not opening up the level of packs, although I still recommend it even if you're no money spent, a few bucks. Although they did raise the price in some of them, so that could be a little bit different. But like I said, number one tip, get the level up. Once you get the level ups, guys, the level up grind gets you millions of coins. No joke. Like, one to three million coins, depending on your pack pulls, if you open up the uh, the, the money packs. But you also get power passes. Now, power passes are big. So the way power pass pretty much works is you're going to be able to get players that are really good for pretty much free. A power pass essentially replaces a player in the power up chain. So go ahead and get those and get yourself some players. So like I said, first focus on the level up grind. Get your free packs. Get your free coins. 
and get your free power passes. Once you do all that, and that's all passed, that's when you focus on the team building aspect. And for the team building aspect, you want to go find all the free players. So one of the things right now you want to do is, and you don't have much time left for this, you have three days, two days actually, start getting this done if you can. So if you get tier 20, so tier 1, tier 5, tier 10, tier 15, tier 20, you get these by doing zero chill sets, zero, zero chill solos, like the Grouch will mump miss, uh, missions, you get a bunch of free players here. So you can essentially get about a total of five, 93 plus overall players, just about. Um, you can do all of that. that. That will fill out five roles on your team. And it's not that those players won't be useful because, you know, that's a relevant overall 93. You know, it's not going to be a cat squad, but it will fill it out. You can get some linemen. You get some D linemen. You can start finally competing a little bit. So that's definitely one of the spots you want to be focusing on if you're starting, if you're watching these videos today. If you're watching Beyond this, guys, again, this applies to every promo, though. So make sure you are following these tips to every promo. You can just go ahead in any promo. Go to missions and just check the newest stuff like campus here. I was like, oh, is there something there? Oh, these are just sets. Okay, not going to help me. Zero chill. Snowball fight. Free Miles Garrett and Justin Herbert. Okay, hold on. Let me go check that out. Chill factor. Chill factor rewards. Oh, there's rewards for tiers. Let me get the tiers up. You know what I mean? Like always, no matter what. Like if, we're, if you're watching this in a month and it's, it's, you know, it's Super Bowl promo or the NFL honors, go check out the missions. Is there something free to earn? And again, free players are your biggest thing. about. What I can really much, pretty much say too, don't spend money on the auction block until you have all your free players you can get because this is what people do too right so the first thing you're gonna do is you get your first 100k from leveling up you go buy yourself um you know a good running back and then you play your solos with that running back and then you get a free running back like, oh i got i got you know i got a Kenyon drake and better than the running back i got i'm gonna i'm gonna use him so then you go and you go to sell back the other running back you got and you go to sell him back there's a reduction fee let's say it was 100k you only lost 10k but you're no money spent so 10k that's 10 percent of the income you have I like to, what I like to do is, when I grab my solos, you don't need a good team. Most of them are on arcade mode. They're easy to do. Just go ahead and get every free player. Once you get all your free players, then you can be like, okay, so I have 15 positions filled. I still need a quarterback. I need another cornerback, and I need a defensive lineman. Then you go ahead and you use the coins you earn and send them there, and you hold on to them. Maybe you power them up, go on and so forth. Again, I wouldn't go too deep into abilities just yet until you have a team set, because again, abilities and powering up can cost a lot of coins, and doing so as a no-money-spent team is going to break you like... Powering up, let's say, Derrick Henry right now, 200K all the way up. It costs you like 350, 400K, maybe more. And then on top of that, if you want to go get his abilities, you can end up spending upwards of 600K on one card when that could be more than your entire team's worth. So definitely be careful in terms of powering up and doing abilities off the rip. Never open packs. Unless they're the level, the level of packs that cost a few bucks, I highly recommend you just never open up packs. Don't even bother. Do not touch the stuff. I'm telling you, it's just it's gonna it's a waste of coins. You're like 140,000 for a Legend Fantasy pack. That could have taken you a week to save up for, and it could all end in 10 seconds with bad pulls. And it's not really worth it. Even if you do pull full Legend, a lot of the times, unless it's one of the new ones, you're probably losing coins anyway. Especially if you pull some of the older ones. Of course, the pull rates have gotten better, but there's still 77% chance you get an 88 plus, which is just going to be 100k or less, probably less. But moving on from that, guys. Like I said, the biggest things here. If you do, if you start building the team, and now you're just no money spent team grinding out. If you ha now, if you're like more of an advanced no money spent intermediate, I recommend you start taking advantages of sets like these. These are the best sets for no money spent players. So let's say if you're no money spent right now, and you need to you need to stack your team out right because that's the thing. No money spent has a lot of holes. You need to you need quantity over quality a lot of the time because one quality player, it's football, right? It's a team sport. One quality wide receiver isn't going to win you games. You need a quality wide receiver throwing being thrown to by quality. Uh, quarterback with a quality line to hold your, your quarterback up so let's say you do this right here as a normal spent guy you have 500k 600k and you're like should i just buy patrick mahomes that's maybe not instead maybe you do this right here and you can get all these players here two five you can get them like it's gonna be like probably let's see the price 75k okay you could probably get this whole thing done for somewhere around 500k so you can either spend 500k on one player or do this set, and you get Jerry Rice and all these. So now you're saying, okay, so I got Jerry Rice, and I got all this for about 500k. Now what you do is you go and sell Jerry Rice back. If you haven't watched these videos, I make them all the time. It's a set method. You go sell Jerry Rice back afterwards. You don't keep him. You sell him. Now you end up getting pretty much all these little players here. You get a Joe Thomas. You get a, a Bryant. You get a, let's see who this one was. You get a Jamie Collins. And again, not, they're not always worth it. Make sure you check the players out first and do the math first. But again, you get all these players back as not for free. So pretty much you sell Jerry Rice. And let's say the set costs you after selling Jerry Rice only 150 k Well, for 150 k you got three startable players. Then you go ahead and you go to the Rob Woodson set. And you're like, okay, well, 
I really want, you know, the Steve Atwater. I really want the, the Fitz and a few other guys here. So you go do this one. And you just keep moving on that way. That's pretty much the most best way to build your team a lot of the time. Wraps it up for the entire video. That pretty much covers like my best tips and stuff. Like I said, as you get more advanced, you can focus on sets and you know spending and picking up players. Of course, if you get past even that and you have you have a whole team set, because once you have a whole team set, that's like a you know fair overall, like a 92, maybe 93, and you can compete consistently online. That is when you can start just shelling out and being like, okay, the next 500k goes to Bo, and so on and so forth. But that pretty much wraps it up entirely. Hopefully, you guys enjoy coming to the channel. Subscribe. Comment down below, like the video, turn on that noti bell, and of course, if you guys do need coins, like I said, and you don't want to spend packs, and you're beyond the money spent already, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.